Hi honeys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so <laughs> let's just start this little video off by apologizing for the mess. Actually, I'm not gonna apologize for the mess in the background. I am exhausted and this is the best we could do today. And that's okay because you know what? This is real life and we're not gonna look 100% or glammed every single day. And if our bed is not made every single day, well, that's okay too. And I'm just proud of you for doing your best and just allowing yourself to do what you can today. So today's video is a little recap of my first trimester. Now, you know what? It's better late than never because this video is being posted a bit late, if we're being honest. I mean, I am almost into my third trimester now, but you know what? I'm making it, here I am, and I'm just happy to be able to share this part of my pregnancy journey with you guys. So I do wanna say that for my well, all of my trimesters really, but starting of course with the first trimester, I wanted to come on and like vlog the whole trimester. I wanted to do not necessarily daily updates, but maybe weekly vlog clips or something, just kind of giving updates and like letting you guys know how I've been feeling, what I've been doing, going through all of that great stuff. However, I let my anxiety get the best of me and I did not allow myself to do that. I'm gonna just recap it here with you guys today. However, I do wanna say that I do have a few clips that I'm gonna show you guys in just a minute here of stuff that I was filming over my first trimester, just of things that I was feeling and stuff like that, but I didn't allow myself to like fully vlog the whole first trimester experience like I had originally wanted to. And you know, of course it was just because if you know my journey or my story at all, then you may know that I went through a chemical pregnancy or a very early miscarriage just a few months before finding out I was pregnant with this babe. So it was very hard for me to document that joy that I was feeling in the moment because I was so afraid to have these videos and memories to look back on again and not really be able to you know, experience that joy to its fullest because I was afraid it was going to just get taken away from me again. So of course, I don't know what my future has in store for me, but kind of as I've gotten, you know, through more time with this pregnancy, I've just allowed myself to start feeling it, to start being excited about it because at the end of the day, no matter what happens, this baby is real, this baby is mine, and I love her so, so much, and I just want to be able to experience it to the fullest. So, of course, I'm upset that I don't have those memories, but, you know, I had these vlog clips from my first pregnancy of me going to buy stuff to tell Chandler, and then his reaction, all that stuff, and then, you know, it just, it didn't work out the way we hoped it would. So yeah, of course, like I said, I don't have that the way I would like to, but I do have a few quick clips that I want to show you guys. So let's check those out. And then when we get back, I will recap the rest of my first trimester for you. I thought I was hungry. I made a whole smoothie bowl. And now I don't want it at all. I feel so sick. <laughs> I know I cannot just lay in here all day, but I don't even feel like getting up. I have been laying in bed practically all day. I'm so tired. I don't feel good. I'm feeling super bloated. I can't tell if I'm starting to show or if I'm just super, super bloated, but eight weeks and six days and my stomach is <laughs> really bloated right now i would like to think i'm showing but i don't know my mood swings <laughs> look at my hair what is my hair doing my mood swings and my nausea have just been absolutely terrible thankfully i haven't like physically gotten sick yet from the nausea um but it's not been fun. <laughs> I have my first actual prenatal appointment in a couple of days and I'm feeling really nervous. I had an ultrasound at like a private place a few weeks ago and they found the heartbeat and everything but I am just really nervous because I've been sick and I had COVID and I'm just you know nervous that like while I was sick and stuff over this bit of time that like something could have gone wrong so I'm just feeling very, very, very anxious. This is technically gonna be my eight to 11 week scan, but this is when they could get me in. I'm gonna be over 11 weeks. I'm already over 11 weeks, um, but yeah. 
I'm just feeling nervous. I know it's not a guarantee, but I just can't wait to get past the 12 week mark. I feel like I'll be able to breathe a little bit more then. I feel like I'll definitely be able to breathe a little bit more after my appointment. But yeah, that is my update for now. So there you go. I guess those clips honestly probably could sum up the first trimester pretty well. I was very bloated. I was tired all the time. I was super nauseous. I wouldn't say necessarily that I had like really bad morning sickness or anything, which morning sickness what a name such a joke that stuff can come out of nowhere it can be any time of the day do not let the name fool you but yeah i mean i was very nauseous and stuff but thankfully i never really got like physically sick during my pregnancy at all thus far which i am so so grateful for because i absolutely hate the feeling of like throwing up so i'm very very thankful that i did not experience that hopefully i will continue not to experience that but i'm feeling very thankful that i didn't have to go through that even though the nausea was no fun at all it would come on out of nowhere it would make me super dizzy and oh my goodness it was just not fun but that was really the brunt of my first trimester in terms of like physical, I don't want to say ailments, but just how I was feeling physically. Like I said, I was really bloated and nothing fit me starting at maybe like nine weeks. Literally, I was living in sweatpants, living in leggings, which stopped fitting me by like week 10 so they didn't last me very long but i was just in like big t-shirts comfy stuff all the time because nothing fit me at all i thought i had a bump for like the longest time and then i found out i was just bloated because then i would wake up some days and i would just be like back to what i looked like pre-pregnancy and i would not have my bump anymore which i came to find out was obviously just bloat and then i finally woke up in like my second trimester and realized I had a bump finally, which it kind of like just came out to be honest with you. I had like a little, like you could feel that it, a bump was forming, but like my bump really just started. But yeah, in my first trimester, I was just super bloated all of the time. It was not a fun time, but you know what? We made it through and it's all been well worth it so far. My emotions and my mood swings were also not fun. I uh, definitely cried at friends like all the time. I have a little clip here that I uh, put on TikTok, I think, of me watching friends, which, um, well, you, you can just see for yourself. Okay, so I'm pregnant and I'm watching this in the this, this series finale of Friends right now. And my emotions literally can't handle this right now. Oh my god, did she get off the plane? Did she get off the plane? I got off the plane. <laughs> she got off the plane. <laughs> she got off the plane. <laughs> she Got off the plane. <laughs> but yeah, I know that they are all like totally standard things that people go through during pregnancy. So, you know, I'm just feeling super blessed and everything has been okay other than that. I feel like, you know, I just wanted to get past that first trimester, right? Like going into all of those weeks like the 13 weeks and getting past that mark i told myself like once i get past this then i'll feel better and i'll be able to talk about things more and to get myself more excited about things and you know then that came around and then it was oh well once i go to the anatomy scan i'll feel better and all these things and i guess it's just kind of a maternal instinct you're never going to like truly stop worrying at least for me i feel like that like full worry will never just like completely go away. But I guess that's just part of the journey. However, after going to the anatomy scan, which I will talk about more in my second trimester video that I will be making very soon, because like I said, I am gonna be in my third trimester soon, which is, oh my goodness, I can't even believe it. But yeah, after going to my anatomy scan and just hearing that everything looked good, I told myself, you know what? I can't change what's gonna happen from this point on and I need to start enjoying this because when I look back on this pregnancy later, I want to have these fond, happy memories. And that was really hard for me in the first trimester, truly. And even going into the second trimester because as you'll see soon when I make my 
recap of my second trimester video, I also did not vlog that the way I wanted to. Partly because I was still going through these emotions because like I said, it did not stop after the 13 weeks like I hoped it would, all these anxiety feelings. And then also partly just because I kind of like just didn't do it. I just kind of like forgot and didn't record and then life happened and whatever. But you know, like I said, I just, what was I going with that? Oh, pregnancy brain. Well, that is literally how my brain works during pregnancy. I have absolutely no clue what point I was trying to make where I, right there when I was just rambling. So I will just say that my first trimester, honestly, was not bad except for my anxiety. I mean, I really allowed it to get in the way and stop me from enjoying the little things. I wanted to be the mom to take bump pictures every week and to, you know, take pictures with like the size of the fruit that the baby was or the vegetable or whatever it is, you know, all those like little things. And, you know, I let myself do it every now and then. And obviously, as you guys saw, I had a few little videos that I made along the way, but I was so afraid to be excited and happy because I was just so scared that this precious baby was going to be taken away from me again. And I just, I was very scared. And you know, I, it's just a shame because I don't like living in fear, especially as a Christian who, you know, I, I try my hardest to put my faith into God, but sometimes it is very difficult. And that is just real, true honesty right there. It is very hard sometimes. And I am just doing my best to show gratitude every single day of this journey. I may not have all of the little moments that I want it to do to look back on because I let fear get in my way, but that's okay, you know, that's okay. It's not gonna be the same experience and journey for everyone. At the end of the day, I am just doing everything I possibly can. I am doing my absolute very, very best to just be the best mama I can be when this baby is here. And I pray to God every day for just a healthy rest of this journey for both of us. I am just overall showing myself a little bit of grace and hopefully if you are going through something similar, then you can show yourself a little bit of grace as well. So some other big things in my pregnancy journey of the first trimester. I went to get an ultrasound at, I believe I was only about six weeks at that point. We just wanted to confirm the pregnancy just to see our little bean in there. Oh my goodness. It was like the sweetest thing. Just her telling us that, you know, she heard a heartbeat and just to see this little tiny thing that like it was just this little precious little thing and just to know that that was our baby was like the most surreal experience ever and then we got our pictures and we told our family and it was so wonderful we didn't tell anyone else until technically second trimester and then we got our you know dating scan with the doctor's office of course and that was I think I said it somewhere in one of the little vlog clips that was a little after 11 weeks and it was just so surreal again just like the whole experience and just like hearing that it was all real and there was actually a baby there and it's just oh my goodness it is like the most mind-blowing experience and I it, it it blows my mind every single day truly like when I think when I try to think about it <laughs> I can't even comprehend it it's just wow it's so amazing and I am just ah I am just very grateful and yeah I just like I said I keep praying for a healthy baby and a healthy journey for the both of us and I just I can't even believe it so another big thing that happened in the first trimester was literally like very shortly after finding out I was pregnant, we moved back to New Jersey from Florida, which was a big transition. And you know, it was nice knowing that I was gonna be home and everything to be around family and all of that for the pregnancy, but it was definitely a big transition. You know, of course I always like dreamt that I would be with my mom and you know, my, my family and Chandler's family and all of that, like when we had kids, but it was just like, it was very difficult having to leave Florida, especially because we loved it so much. And you know, my anxiety there was really not the best. That's a whole nother story for another day, but God works in very mysterious ways. And you know, it kind of just, was like a very chaotic time and like this whole like thing of emotions was going on and it was just 
it was a lot but again I know that God is with me and he gives me strength and I can do all things through him so as difficult as all of it was and as much emotion and anxiety and all of that that I was feeling in my first trimester I am thankful for every single moment of all of it because I believe that truly it is going to make me into a stronger mom and person going forward and I am incredibly grateful for that. So yeah, that is pretty much everything that I have to say about my first trimester. I think I hit all of the big points. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Like I said, it may not be in the exact format that I wanted it to be in, but I am so very thankful that I was able to bring you guys along on this part of my journey with me so far. And of course, I will have a second trimester video coming out very soon, like I said, and then going into the third trimester, which is wild to me. <laughs> it's very very I can't believe it but yeah so thank you guys so very much for watching this video and following along on my journey so far it means the world to me to have so much support and love on our side please continue to send up so many prayers and positive thoughts and well wishes and just all of the positivity that you can bring to our lives and our little baby's life as we continue to move forward with this chapter, it is so, so much appreciated and I can't say thank you enough for all of it. And of course, continue to stay tuned for all of the videos that I'll have coming out very, very soon. Honestly, whether it be baby related, just lifestyle in general, Disney, of course, always got to go back to my Disney roots. I love it. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, you won't want to miss all of the fun stuff coming your way very, very soon. And for now, thank you guys so very much for watching this video. I truly hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you all have a beautiful and blessed day, everyone. Bye.